I V M. Hi there, welcome once again. This is yet another episode of TFG Fantasy Sports Podcast. Uh, today we'll be talking about West Indies and Pakistan. We spoke about South Africa and England, and just like that, we'll be talking only fantasy cricket here. Of course, we we add. Uh, 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 we'll talk about the overall composition of both teams and who's likely to win and who's likely to lose. Who's uh, likely <laughs> in West Indies, Pakistan? Who's likely to win and likely to lose? Might as well not talk. It's like exactly so. Two, two, two teams, teams. Huh? especially in the initial phase. Yeah, going ahead, I, everything will start settling down. You will get to know which are the best teams and which are. And and so easily, this could this could also be one of the matches of the tournament. Yeah, yeah, I, not exactly because I see West Indies being too powerful for Pakistan. Unless no, of border. course, of course, I I agree with <clears> what you're saying. But uh, given what these two teams are capable of, the drama I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, and drama, the Harakiri, hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we can we can expect quite a show. Anyway, yeah. uh, the fantasy cricket show is more important, and down to the team composition, like always. Uh, we'll begin with that. Uh, I think both again both teams should play their best eleven. I think it applies to all teams now. Yeah, no, especially till they settle down to a winning combination, right. they will, you know, yes. try out their best eleven or best on paper eleven, and then yeah. see how it works. Yes, um, I think Amir Amir should not play for various reasons. I'm not too sure about his fitness. He's not the Amir that he was before. Uh, Pakistan have still retained him, so that's a good thing. But I think it, it will be better. It will be better if they play Wahab Riaz instead of yeah. Mohammad Amir. I, I think they have got back Wahab, so I am sure they will start with him. Otherwise, what's the point? You pick yeah. him. If you don't play, what's the point? Yeah. So yes. there's so, no doubt that he'll be. Yes. In, yeah. West Indies will be more than happy to welcome Gale, Andre Russell, even Lewis. Yeah. All these guys will be back. Mm, suddenly, this looks like a different team now. Yeah, yeah, it's a great team, and if that Sunil guy had also been in, Sunil Narain oh, and, uh, and the two others, the train Indians, Polard and the Bravo. Yeah. No, I mean, anyway, anyway, okay. The weather looks much better in Nottingham as compared to what we have seen uh, across UK. It is going to be cloudy, but chances of rain very, very less. Yeah, it should be a batting track, I think, more or less. So uh, it should be. Yeah. It should be uh, mm-hmm. what we have seen historically at Nottingham. I think it favors West Indies more uh, than Pakistan. Yeah, and I see the team winning the toss, chasing uh, very than, much, yes, very much. much. Yeah, that, unless, unless of course, New Zealand uh, uh, West Indies want to repeat what they did to New Zealand. No, Get no, no. That was a that was a warm up match, tha, yaar. Chodo. Yes. This is like yes. this is the real one. So this is the real one, but West Indies have the firepower. Yeah, but you know, uh, initially to start off with setting a score on a batting track, you mm. don't know what is is four hundred oh, yeah. enough or is three fifty yeah. enough. You know, it's like mm. spinners. I think it's it's a very straightforward choice. I would go with only Imad Wasim because he has been the number one spinner for Pakistan. As far as West Indies is concerned, yes, Nurse has been amongst the wickets, but I think you have to pick uh, pacers more as compared to the spinners. Yeah, I think this is these are not two teams where. You have a plethora of paces, and it's like you will be yes. spoiled for choice. So you can't yeah. waste a one seat in the bowler category with a, you know, spinners. Even an Imad, if at all, if you think that you have one more spot for the fourth bowler or something, I would think because you would exactly. e- easily pick up three paces, and uh, you might have your all rounders, and you might have no place for even an Imad. So yes. yes, yes. So and and just because the spinners are there doesn't mean you have to pick. Yeah, them. yeah. Of course not. They, they come in for the variety and the. In in Afghanistan's uh, case, you you omit all their pacers and exactly. pick their spinners. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it is. Um. Anyway, uh, we we have uh, the batsmen. Uh, sorry, the all rounders now. CP. No, the pacers. We are, since, oh, the pacers. Yeah, they have. We have to fill up the bowling. So. Oh yes, pacers. Uh, now, now this is this is a problem area. Uh, for everybody. Uh, look, if if there is one pacer that I wouldn't want to leave from Pakistan, it's Shaheen Afridi, yeah. uh, along with Hassan Ali, because Hassan Ali is super at the death. He's got so many variations. He is consistent. He has picked so many wickets across uh, formats. Yeah. So these two bowlers for sure, and uh, Shannon Gabriel. Shannon Gabriel suddenly 
uh, this this found this resurgence i don't know he must have looked into the history books uh, think the likes of robert uh, marshall a <laughs> and all those guys yeah but he was no like that he could never bowl 90 now he's bowling 95 miles yeah, so good. yes so i would pick him uh, i would omit roach because he's he's nursing some injury he has not been consistent so three pacers it's simple uh, cp it's, yeah, it's a very simple call yeah and of course you will have your all rounders who will also contribute to the bowling points so exactly yes. so so yes. you we are talking about three paces and if at all a spinner in imad no so. i will i will yeah i will no 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 imad fits into do the all rounder category okay, i would yeah. pick i would pick two pakistani pacers and one, one west indian because then we have the russells and the holders in the all rounders category yeah, so let's move to the all rounders so let's it will, move, yeah exactly yeah. so two two all rounders that In, in fact, all three. I have to pick all three. One is Imad Wasim, uh, Jason Holder, the captain, who who is currently ranked very high in the ICC all-rounders yeah. uh, charts, and Andre Russell. Usko mat chodo, yar. वो तो I think people will first pick him and Gail and then form their team. You know, it's like exactly. Yeah, there's and, no and doubt. And again, again, look, look, look at his uh, talent. Look at his potential. He he played the last game, last professional game, I should say, uh, in in the IPL. Three weeks he didn't play a single match. He plays the warm-up against New Zealand and blasts fifteen no time. Yeah, so it's like uh, there's bowlers just don't know where to bowl to him. It's as oh, simple yeah, as that. Yeah. It's as yes, simple as that. Yes. Yeah, and 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 if he's injury free, ten mm. overs guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. So I don't want to drop Russell. I don't want to drop Holder and Imad Wasim. So six players between the bowlers and all rounders. You have six spots filled up. Six, one, oh, seven, yeah. six, and one one keeper. Seven hope, hope and only hope. Yes. Just look at his record. Last inning, he's got three hundred, two fifties, and a twenty or a thirty. Mm. How can I drop him? No, no. There's no question of dropping him because what's your option? There's, you have to exactly. look at the. Exactly. <laughs> what I have, Nicholas Puran, <laughs> and I have uh, Sarfraz Ahmed. I'm, yeah. I'm simply going to ignore Sarfraz Ahmed. Nicholas Puran. I don't know if he's going to be in the starting eleven. Yeah. So if, if he is in the starting eleven, I might as well pick him. But if I do that, I'll have to sacrifice uh, a spot in the batting category. Exactly. So. So that calculation you'll have to make and yeah. see. So I think hope. Of course, you can pick multiple keepers, but there aren't oh, many yeah. here. You would Correct. want to. Uh, pick because you have to look at just because you are allowed to pick up multiple keepers doesn't mean you have to just pick them. Just don't go. Yeah, yeah because yeah. they need to give you points also. It's like, exactly. Yeah. Then batting. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a. No, we have feet. four four spots left, and we have four uh, spots left. left. Um, and, I uh, I'm picking Babar. I'm picking Gail. Hogan. For sure. And uh, then I would think a uh, Lewis. Lewis would uh, be a. Even, good even Lewis, yeah, even Lewis. Lewis should be, and and one of Fakhar Zaman or Imam Khulak. Yes. Look again, Imam. Imam, because he opens the innings and he's been consistent. Uh, the other day, CP, you asked me about who's who's uh, name me three players from Pakistan. I actually couldn't yeah. because they are all the same. Exactly. So, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, it's same. a toss-up between these two on their day. Like a fucker became famous because of <laughs> one innings and ah, uh, because yeah. of Bumrah. Yes. yes. <laughs> And somewhere I have a feeling that Bumrah this time is going to nail Fakhar's head. <laughs> I think they might not play him against India. They'll, yes. Anyway, they'll, they'll keep him for the finals <laughs> with India. <laughs> if at all, if at all. Anyway, anyway. Um, so, so yeah. So the, these these are our picks. You can't drop Gail for obvious reasons. Like, so Gail Lewis Babar walks in. Now you have Babar, a fourth yeah. spot which you have to toss up between an Imam and Fakhar, or yeah. then. From our trump cards, you have you can have a Shoaib Malik. You can have a Shoaib Malik. Malik. Oh yeah, yeah. oh you yeah. Can, yeah, you yes. can you can even consider him. But yes, yeah, he could also fit. I think, fit I think even Lewis, even Lewis fits well as a trump card because if the Gale doesn't fire, hmm. Lewis can. We 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 know what he's capable of. We have seen him uh, over the last eighteen months or so. Yeah. So look, if if these two open. Again, you're looking at a Munro Gaptel. You're looking at a Sharma and Dhawan. So mm. they are a very, very formidable opening pair. Absolutely. And TP 15 overs of of these two. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. Where West Indies will end up? Yeah, yeah. And and Gail has this uh, remarkable um, quality of patience. Quality. Um, exactly. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. You he might think he's this uh, master blaster, but. वो रुकता है उधर दस पार्ट ही प्ले फाइव मेडन ओवर्स ही वोट केयर That is that is the best part. That yeah. is the best. But even in fantasy cricket, you sometimes end up getting minus for a yeah. poor strike rate, and then you 
get up i don't know exponential points <laughs> the way he makes it up at the end yeah yeah so It's just about yeah. staying there yeah if he doesn't get a mane super ball which is almost unplayable he gets yeah. the runs he yeah. gets the runs yeah of course of course or the other way you can dismiss him is run out because he just doesn't <laughs> run <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah. but in T Twenty you have to run a lot. Here he can actually afford to just take the fours, uh, twos. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Vice captain and captain. Mm. Uh, li- like I said, uh, it has to be Babar, Kail, and if I have to pick one more guy, it will be Andre Russell. So I'll, yes. I'll, I'll be. I have a pool of three guys, mm. and uh, yeah, you have to decide between the three. Yeah, Andre, I would uh, pick in a captain or vice captain only because. he the top order will really have to flop for him to come into bat you know it's like you are expecting him to come in only after 3 4 yeah but days. you don't know these days who could get promoted where suddenly uh, that is a situational thing like you need okay in the 30th over you're doing well and you need a boost and you send him in for 5 overs or 10 yeah. overs get whatever you can kind of thing so you yes. will have to take a chance with russell in the captain vice captain thing of course he is going to be in your team but whether i would think a gale and babar make immense uh absolutely choice it's a good choice uh, steady hmm. and reliable yeah <laughs> if at all so, i would even consider a hope because uh, oh yeah, yeah actually given the form yeah. uh, you really can't uh, argue and also that, that he might get you points for his stumping with the gloves yeah. with the gloves all yeah, that matters yeah, at the end know, of the day exactly and if those double or become one and a half times it makes a huge difference oh yes yes theek hai so cp who's going to come out on top oh i want west indies to win not because yeah. uh, the thing is that He, they are my dark horses they and uh, mm. new zealand mm. are my dark horses for this yeah, tournament everybody is talking west indies suddenly <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, it was sub ek it's like a, everybody jumps on the bandwagon but correct, I, yeah correct. I, i think a west indies and uh, new zealand would uh, mm. pose a problem to many a team it's not mm. going to be easy for the, any of the top teams to get past them yeah. pakistan like we discussed when we discussed the team itself they mm. are they lack solidity in many areas so you know Correct. they are totally dependent on their pacers to you know really bowl out mm. the opposition and yeah 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 everything depends and, 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 and it, every time yeah and it can happen but not every time it's like not every time yeah because even yes. even if the top order flops like let's say you have some team at 78 for 5 even then each team has good four five players more who can bat mm. through and take you to 250 260 you know yeah, and, yeah. and that might pakistan be enough don't have yeah that. yeah pakistan so, don't have that that yeah, is the problem exactly so so it's a big big area so i um, points to west indies for this match i think oh yeah yes so that's that's uh, another episode done and dusted uh, we'll keep doing this every day uh, next match uh, till then keep reading our usual stuff on on fangaraj.com follow us on twitter on facebook and uh, do leave a comments feedback whatever we'll get back to you thank you bye thank you bye sachin tendulkar virat kohli don bradman and now cyrus brocha okay probably not in the right company i mean don bradman is australian but it's called cyrus says a wonderful show about everything find the show on the ivm podcast app ivmpodcast.com or wherever you listen to podcasts Filter coffee is a fascinating beverage. You need to pick the right beans, blend them in the right proportion, roast them to perfection, and slow brew at the right temperature to get the perfect cup. Which is exactly like great conversations as well. You need to track down the most interesting minds, get them into their zone, and settle down for an unhurried, unscripted chat. And coffee for me is always, always, always best enjoyed with friends. I'm Karthik Nagarajan, and do share my table. as i meet some of the most interesting people i know and sit them down for a strong cup of coffee and an even stronger conversation join me every wednesday for a freshly brewed episode this is not frappe this is the filter coffee podcast <laughs>